Hello again. This is Carolyn from Carolyn Star Products, and I have a website uh, that helps and gives tips for living a happy life, and I give my videos very often, and tonight we're going to talk about how to get rid of sugar cravings, getting rid of sugar cravings. So now I know that there are a lot of people out there that love sweets, including me. I was, I've been eating sweets ever since I was a child. I love my desserts, my chocolate almond ice cream, my coconut cream pie, and I'm sure a lot of you out there love it too. But sweets can be delicious, but the problem with that is too much of anything is not good for you. And too much, especially of the wrong kinds of sweets, are not good for you. And why is that? Because if you have diabetes, or if you have a cholesterol problem, or candida, or bad yeast problems, then sugar is definitely not good for you. So we must get that sugar under control. And uh, I know a lot of you have like sweets, and sweets can be very addictive. Yes, it can. It can be very addictive. And you must have a plan if you want to control your, your sweet your sweet intake you must have a plan because sugar can cause an over an excessive amount of sugar can be responsible for diabetes for candida for heart problems cholesterol and a lot of problems that come with eating too much sweets so uh, I know that a lot of us it's very difficult to do so what you can do is cut back or get you some healthy sugars. There are healthy sugars, like organic honey and organic uh, maple syrup and stevia. And make your own desserts. Then you can in include your own ingredients that are healthier. Now, I found out that white sugar has been bleached, and it has absolutely no nutrients and vitamins in it. So when you eat white sugar, you're not getting any nutrients in your body. So what should we do? Eat three meals a day and two snacks. And for many, if you don't eat regularly, the blood sugar levels will drop. You feel hungry and are more to crave sweets if you don't eat regular meals. So, and eat food in their natural form, including fruits, vegetables, that fruits and vegetables present no metabolic problems for a normal body, especially when consumed in variety. So first, eat a nice breakfast, which is essential to preventing sugar cravings. And what you can substitute sugar for is cinnamon, coriander, cloves, nutmeg, cardamom. These are naturally sweeteners that sweeten your food and they reduce your cravings. So I know for a fact that cinnamon, coriander, cloves, and nutmeg, you can add that to your food. It gives it a sweet taste. And eat a lot of vegetables and fresh fruits, especially organic fruits and organic vegetables and if you eat regularly then this will also help crave your sugar cravings if you don't eat then that's when you'll crave some sugar so try to eat three meals and two snacks fresh organic vegetables and fruits you can eat your sweet fruits like pineapple and banana and coconut you can really enjoy those and they can really be a good substitute for sugar now also include calcium and magnesium. Calcium and magnesium can also curb your sugar cravings. When I eat, when I take calcium and magnesium, it helps reduce my sugar cravings. And also, if you, uh, if you have to eat sweeteners, as I said, organic maple syrup, organic honey, organic stevia is better for you than the white sugar and the brown sugar. And eat a lot of organic fruits and vegetables. And add protein. Protein helps reduce the cravings, too. So try to add protein in all of your meals to reduce your sugar cravings. And your, your calcium and your magnesium also. And so if you do indulge, there are some things that you can do to lower your blood sugar. I know we all cheat. And that's garlic, chromium, vitamin B3, magnesium, cinnamon, L-glutamine, chromium, chromium, pickle up. Those will help reduce your sugar cravings and help lower your sugar level when your sugar goes up. Because when you know you cheat, that's what I do is take garlic and chromium. So, now, breads and bagels and pasta turns to sugars. 
So there are carbohydrates that turn to sugar. So that that turns to sugar when you digest it in the body. So take uh, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of L-glutamine right, right when you feel a sugar craving coming on. And drink some salsa water. Sometimes you're just thirsty when you crave sugar. So drink salsa water and eat plenty of fruit. And, and take your L-glutamine and that will lower some of your cravings for sugar. And what you can do is regulate your sugar to one day or two days a, a week instead of eating it every day. Then that way you'll have something to look forward to. That's what I do. I regulate my sugar eating to Saturday. So I'm looking forward to Saturdays to come around. So that way you, if you don't eat sugar every day, you can regulate it to just once a week. And that is one solution. Now there are very, very bad sugars that are not good for you like corn syrup corn sugar, high fructose, sucrose, decrose, honey that's not organic. So those are the sweeteners that are very, very detrimental to your health because they have preservatives and additives in them. So try to stay away from those sugars when you go to the store. Check your, uh, your packages and your canned goods and make sure that they don't have those in them because they are not very good for you health-wise. And when you have your sugar cravings, they usually last about 10 or 20 minutes. So take a walk. Take a walk and get some fresh air and exercise. And this, this gets your mind off eating sugar. And that's another solution that you might want to try. Exercise, move your body, get involved in something that gets your mind off your sugar. If you have to eat something, grab an apple, a piece of pineapple or blackberry, a blueberry, a banana, something that's good for you. Uh, or you can make your own sweets at home and sweeten them with sugar, with stevia. And that way, that's an alternative that's a natural sugar. Again, try to eat some vegetables in variety. Eat a lot of vegetables. That will help you with your sugar cravings. A lot of vegetables and a lot of fruits throughout the day. Be sure to include protein in every meal. Protein also helps you reduce your sugar cravings. So eat your vegetables, your fruits, and your protein. And, and get your walking in and drink your water and that will also reduce your sugar cravings. And remember, whenever you go into the store, check your labels. You don't want to get anything with fructose, corn syrup, sucrose, decrose, or turbango sugar, white sugar, brown sugar. These have additives and preservatives in them and they don't have any vitamins in them and they will add to your sugar cravings and make them worse. They will make you want sugar and they will make you addicted to sugar because they are addictive products, especially the high fructose corn syrup and the white sugar, which has absolutely no vitamins and minerals in it. Remember, you have to eat for health. You are what you eat. You have to fill your body with healthy food, and white sugar has no vitamins in it at all. So as I said before, we all cheat. So when you cheat, I have found that Garlic, chromium, vitamin B3, magnesium, cinnamon, L-glutamine, chromium, piconinate are noted for lowering the blood sugar. So when I know that I've overindulged, that's what I do is grab some garlic, and some magnesium, and some L-glutamine, and some chromium piconinate, and I know that my sugar will, will, uh, will be lowered because I have diabetes in my family, so I have to be very careful uh, that I don't get diabetes. And I keep, I'm keeping my weight down, and I'm trying to uh, watch my sugars and lower my sugars, and thankfully I don't have diabetes yet because I'm doing all of these things, taking garlic and chromium and magnesium when I know I overeat the sugar. And I try to eat the right sugars like stevia and organic maple syrup and honey. So uh, so far I'm very, very, very very happy that I have don't have diabetes like most people in my family do. So that's why you have to watch your sugars because they will help contribute to you uh, getting diabetes. So you have to be very careful when you're at risk for diabetes in your family or when you have candida. You have to do these things. So there you go. Those are some great ideas. So uh, uh, have a good life. Have a happy life. Watch your sugar cravings. And I'll talk to you next time. And have a good day.